Hello, and welcome to Sleeping Saints. My name is Jermaine, and this is a place where we rest with gratitude. Thank you for choosing this podcast to accompany you in your bedtime routine. I hope you find it helpful and I hope that it blesses you. If it does, please let us know by getting in touch. You can find our contact details and ways to get in touch on our website, sleepingsaints.co.uk. And that's also the place to find out about supporting us financially. Let's begin in prayer. Our Lord, our Father, we come before you now with thanks in our hearts. We know that you are always working on our behalf. And we appreciate everything that you do. You are the greatest. You are worth our time and attention. You are the biggest blessing that we could ever hope to receive. You know us. You give us peace. You give us love. In fact, you are love. Thank you for everything that you have prepared for us in our future. Thank you for helping us grow from the people we used to be in the past. We are changing, improving and flourishing. Not because of our own excellence but because of the awesome power that you have. We are never alone. We have an advocate who is always there for us. O Lord, we pray that we never try to go it alone and try to do things ourselves. Without you, we can't. With you, we can. And we will.
we are able because you are we can part the Red Sea because it's your creation and you have already showed us it's possible and that's the thing with you everything is possible thank you for the fact that we're on the winning team you never fail and even though we are the weak link with you we are strong Thank you for the sacrifice you made for dying on the cross for being the lamb who takes away our sin you delivered us and you have given us hope Our hope is in you and not in anything else. And even one minute in your presence is life changing. So how much more an entire lifetime We've only made it to this hour of the day because you've allowed us. We pray that you continue to keep watch over us tonight. As we say thanks in Jesus name. Amen. It says in 1 Peter 3, verse 13 to 14. Now who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? But even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you will be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. We have that reassurance that we never have to fear. Because we have the almighty Father and Saviour, Jesus Christ, in our corner. Let's take a deep breath. Just do this to calm our body and just tell ourselves that it's time for bed. It's time to rest. It's time to sleep.
and let's reflect on our day and think about one thing that we're grateful for. Just picture it and think about why you're so grateful. Why it gives you joy or happiness or fulfillment or what, whatever it gives you. Just think about why that is and turn your heart towards Jesus the provider of that thing that you're picturing right now Let's just take, take another deep breath in and out. We're all human beings. But sometimes we all get angry. The things we get angry about might differ. But the important thing is how we deal with each situation. Even if the anger isn't wrong it can cause us to do things that we might regret Proverbs 16 verse 32 says whoever is slow to anger is better than the mighty and he who rules his spirit than he who takes a city. Throughout the Bible, anger is often referred to with the counterpoint being wisdom. Wise people are those who don't get angry quickly. That's not to say that these people have a magic gene that others don't. But it does mean that they have developed a simple way to combat anger patience it might seem like a simplistic thing to say but the bible tells us that if we take a moment longer than usual we'll be more likely to get our anger under subjection and not just that if we're calm and patient we can prevent an already intense situation from getting worse
Proverbs 15 verse 18 says, A hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger quiets contention. And a well-known scripture from James 1, verse 19 to 20, says this. Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear. Slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. A sign that we're growing in wisdom is when we don't allow anger to rule us and allow us to act in ways we shouldn't. In a moment like this, as we are at our most relaxed. Let's take cues from what we're doing right now. Do the wise thing and let peace reign. Dear Lord, we thank you for where we are right now. In our happy place, in our beds, preparing to sleep. We pray that you forgive our sins. We pray that you will remove the wrongs we have done, particularly the things we've done when we've been angry. We pray for wisdom. If we struggle with anger, we pray that your peace will take control rather than our elevated emotions. We pray that your Holy Spirit instantly convicts us when we're about to react. Help us to chill. Help us to relax and be calm. Even in those moments when when calm is the furthest thing from our minds. Help us to meditate on your word so that it comes flooding back to us 
not just when we're angry, but when we're upset, when we're down, when we're happy, when we feel like we've lost all hope. Your word is so powerful. It contains so much. And even though it was written such a long time ago, it still resonates with us today. It will never be out of date. It doesn't need a sequel. The original is perfect. Be with us now, Lord, as we go to sleep. We pray for peace in our lives, in our homes, in our families, and in our world. Continue to be the blessing we need. In Jesus' name, amen.